the volume, it's okay? Wow, God! You guys see that? <laughs> that was close. Oh, 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 noodles! Oh, what is going on, everybody? Today is the final day for the Enigma event, and oh my gosh, what an event this was. It was an expensive event, but a spectacular one nonetheless. As you may or may not remember, I had a lot of goals during this event. There was a ton of great Pokemon spawning all over the wild and in raids. My main goal was obviously my favorite Pokemon of all time, the Lunatone. I've already got eight shiny Lunatones prior to this event, uh, but I don't have the Shundo or 100%, or I didn't have the 100% until this event. Thankfully, Lunatone was spawning in raids, and thanks to you amazing people sending me all the remote raids, I was able to get 200% Lunatones during this event. Should be controls? Okay, all right, I'll check that after this. Damn Lunatone. But 100% Lunatone, let's go! That's great karma, ladies and gentlemen. Feel bad. Is this the Hundo? Wait, did I get a Hundo L? Check, please. Let's go, baby! There we are, the two 100% looted tones and the 100% unknown that I got on stream at twitch.tv slash thecruiseshipyt. Make sure you follow there because we've been having a blast playing Fall Guys and Shiny Hunting at the same time. It's, it's been bananas. But look at this beautiful sight. You know I had to max both those out immediately. There's the one, the two, and then the unknown right there. Also, the 100% looted tone, my second one, was my 69th. 100% nice, but even though we didn't get the Shundo Lunatone, we still got a lot of shiny targets. First being Kids like if autocorrect is making your name a nightmare. It's like two Here we go Simba. Thank you so much. Three two one. Let's go on own shiny R ah! Yeah, dude Simba Yo, we just got the shiny unknown R Simba, you absolute legend! Let's go! I don't know what's happening, Winter, I'm so sorry! That's right, we got a shiny unknown R on stream, and we did a ton of raids to get that. We did 45 for the R, then we did 76 more unknowns, and we got the unknown L shiny, and then eight after that, we got the shiny unknown U. Plus, an extra shiny loot don't bring us to an even nine. I know it's not an even number, but it looks even on the page. I promise you, it seems good. Another Clefairy, five shiny Deoxys. None of them that were really any good, but you know, they're apparently not that good in battle anyways. So we gotta have to wait for the defense form or something along those lines. Anyways, and also we got the shiny star U as a house bond. I just woke up, it was like, eh, eh. Uh, what's in Pokemon Go? Click it and boom! We got the shiny star with a rainbow in the back. It was it was gorgeous. But as you may be able to tell, I have not completed the set yet, and I still do not have the unknown T. I don't have the A either, but you know, the T is, you know, T for Tom. I want the T the most. So we have a few hours left. Hopefully we get enough remote raids here and we get lucky, insanely lucky. I'm gonna be driving around looking for some unknown raids. So that is the quest today before the Unova event starts, which is going to be uh, in three hours. And just like that, we've got an unknown U raid from Gislotti here. Thank you, Gislotti. Let's pop up. Oh God, do I have raid passes? That has been one of the biggest issues for me during this is not having raid passes. Okay. Whew. Not having raid passes, and then my backspace being too full, and I can't do anything about it, and then I miss raids. I've missed so many unknown raids. A, a bunch. I bet I would have had like 15 shinies by now. Raid is starting now. I should stop the screen recording because I don't want to, you know, run out of space or have something weird happen like that. Tom, you should have made some space earlier. I've made so much space, my iPhone makes no sense. It makes zero sense. I've deleted so many things. I have almost nothing on there, but still, it, it has issues, just like last time. Okay, the unknown is down, so let's see if we get this shiny. No harm, no foul if we do not, because we already have the shiny you. Uh, however, I would enjoy more, just in case I want to spell some sort of shiny words. You, you never know, right? You never know. Maybe I'm, I'm bored. We're in quarantine. Anyways, three. Three, two, one, how? Mm. Mm. That does not set a good tone. That does not set a good tone for the rest of the hunt today. Oh, there's star use around me. Oh, I've already checked all these, I believe. I believe I've already checked. So what about you? Now, okay, stop the screen recording right there. Here are the goals for today. A secondary star you before the event ends, an unknown T before the event ends, an extra Lunatone, why not? You know, we, we want to get the double digits, 10 shiny Lunatones. I think that's the most that anyone's ever had in the world so far. I want to hope so in my head. And then of course, when the new event starts, we're going to be going hard for the shiny Genesect and the Rock and Roller. So those are the missions today. Let's get started. Y'all know who it is, True Inferno, hooking it up with the T unknown raid right here. Go check out True Inferno on YouTube if you have not. We just crashed that thing right there. This is clutch, we've got two hours before the Gen 6 starts. I've found 
No one knows my area. I've been very unhelpful for everyone else because they're nowhere, but uh, I'll reap the benefits. Here we go. Three, two, one, team for me. Oh, yes, True Inferno. No way. True Inferno, dude, you legend. You absolute, are you kidding me? There's no freaking way that this just happened. No way, it is 11 o'clock, the last day. True Inferno, you legend. I can't catch this thing. Make sure you pay attention, Tom. Oh my God. Okay, okay, we're wait, we're wasting too many balls here. <laughs> Hiya. Oh, there it is. We caught it. My voice is completely shot from yesterday's stream and the fact that I've got no sleep. But there we go, dude. I'm shaking. I did not expect to get this or any other unknowns at all based on how long they've been taking. True Inferno, you legend. Oh my God. I, look at my thumb. Can you see my thumb? I don't know. Okay, maybe not. It got all steady when I went to show up, but there we go. Not bad either. A14, the TNO, true, you legend. I can't tell if you can see that. See that shake yeah, with the pinky right there? Oh my gosh. We get those goals done, baby. You give us a mission and we get it. Unbelievable. I'm still missing the A, but you know what? I feel like that will be at a go fest at some point, sometime in the future, or Safari Zone, if those are things. Oh, but the T. Oh, so that is four of the five unknowns. What a success. The event's not over yet. Let's get out of this star you that we're in the middle of. And uh, keep going, true, you legend. Look at this pretty sight. We just stumbled across a couple of Lunatones here, so I figured why not bring the camera out on these guys. Trying to get as much candy as possible. I'm over 8,000, and I have maxed out quite a few Lunatones in my time. Oh, we're just gonna break out of our, uh, we're gonna break out of our balls, huh? I guess we're just gonna break out. Lunatone likes to play hard to get with my love. We got that one. We didn't even check the other one. Please still be there. There it is. Yeah, nothing there. Oh, but I gotta say, the weight off of me from that shiny T unknown is insane for the rest of this hunt. Like that was the main thing I wanted and I was nervous about because who knows when that would show up again. Uh, it makes it all worth it. All the raids, all the money, I guess. It makes it all worth it. So what I mean by the weight being off my shoulders is now I'm going to be just hunting for star use versus like driving around looking for raids. Uh, hopefully we find the unknown A. Hopefully someone sends me one. That would be cool, but I'm not too worried about that. If we don't get another star you, I will be evolving this star me because it's way prettier than the star you in, in Pokemon Go. In the main series, star you is number one. Star me is looking great in this one. But in the meantime, let's just ballpark how many unknown raids we have done to get to this point here. So the first shiny unknown that we got was the O during Go Fest. Now I'm gonna try to count, I've already counted these. Uh, this is granted, it's it's a ballpark because I don't know if I've ran away from some or and tried to get to another raid or something like that. But from the O, it took us 45 unknown raids before we got our first unknown R in the live stream. Then after that, it was a lot of dry spell of unknown. It took us 76 unknowns, I believe, before we ended up getting ourselves. Okay, there's a lot, it's going to. The unknown L, we took the L. Then after that, just eight right there after the L. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight was the number. And then after that, after the U, how many did we do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Has anyone seen clerks? So if I did the math correctly in my head, that was 156 unknown raids completed to get the four shinies. I don't know what those odds are, but a uh, lot of raids, a lot of raids. Anyways, we haven't even gotten to the Innova week yet, so let's just go ahead and uh, turn the camera off, get the rest of our hunt, get the star. You've got an hour and a half left. Can we do it? Can we do it? 30 minutes left of the Enigma event and almost at the buzzer. Bam! We ran into another shiny star, you completing the family. I've already given it a gold ras. Let's throw that ultra, or oh, yeah, that's an ultra ball, and get this thing before it disappears. Don't break out. Hey, there we go. The shiny star you family is officially mine. Now we can evolve one of these beauties. Definitely not that one. Into the star me. All right, cool. And we have an unknown T head. Oh, okay. I guess we're next to a Lunatone. Oh, could you imagine? This is the one I wanted to evolve anyway. It looks decent for PvP. Probably not good at all. But you know what? We're doing this one right here. This is my first one. You get to be the star me. And I can't wait to see what this looks like in person. Oh, 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 wow. This looks way better in person. Star me, you legend. You finally got your time to shine. Oh, you know what? It's not going to be good in PvP because it's way over the CP. This looks far better than any of the renditions of shiny star me that I've ever seen. So it makes up, in my opinion, I don't know if it makes up completely, but it does sort of make up for the lack of the good star you shiny during uh, Pokemon Go. There you have it, 12.33 p.m. We got this. Let's go get some other unknowns and send some invites to some friends here and see if we can get the ball toy. Other than that, 
the main targets for this whole event have been completed. Pretty much. A Hundo Lunatone, a Shiny Staryu family, a Shiny Unknown T, and we got a bunch of other letters. I don't have the ball toy, but you know, it's, it's net, I didn't really hunt for it that hard the first time around. We'll get it eventually, I know. And Jigglypuff Nest. So, oh, so far, overwhelming success here at the Enigma Week. Oh, another Staryu? Oh, all right, we're gonna keep hunting. We got 30 minutes left. Then we're going to get into the Unova week and I'm going to get a team assembled for us to be able to take on Genesex. I'm gonna hunt for a rock and roller for probably about an hour. Then I'm gonna go home uh, and stream on Twitch to do some remote raids for the Genesex. So hopefully we can get that ruby red bug mythical creature in our game today. Okay, well, it looks like that is going to do it for the Enigma event. We are one minute away before the Unova event kicks off. And we are ending it with a Lunatone catch. This one here is not shiny, but we did get one. So any sort of event that has Lunatone, my goal is to get at least one shiny. So we're good so far. Goodbye, Soul Rock. Oh, we should we should end it with the Soul Rock. Let's catch a Soul Rock, because that's going to be gone forever. It's going to go to the other side forever. No, I don't, I don't know when that's going to be gone. But yeah, that being said, the Enigma event was one of my absolute favorite events of Pokemon Go. We were very successful. Please let me know how you guys did in the comments. Did you guys get the shinies that you wanted? Did you get any unknowns? Did you try to spend the money that I did for it? Let me know. And it is officially one o'clock. So before we hit OK, oh no, well, yep, we're going to check the IVs on this. The last Soul Rock before it goes back to the other side of the world. So our goal when this Unova event starts is to get all the new Dex entry Pokemon, which shouldn't be hard in my opinion, but then get the shiny Rock and Roller. Once we get that, we're evolving it straight to the Gigalith as soon as possible because that is the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful part of the Rock and Roller family is the shiny Gigalith. And then in about an hour and a half, the Genesect should start hatching. So let's get out of this Soul Rock right here and see what is nearby here. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, guys. Oh, 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 oh. As one rock and roll, a lot of Unova Pokemon. Oh, come on, the first click could not be it. We're gonna catch a lot of these things because uh, in order to evolve into Gigalith, you need a ton of candies, and uh, unless you trade. If you trade, it's a free evolution, but I don't think I'm gonna be trading any shines anytime soon. So I'm gonna wanna get as much as possible. But seeing the rest of these Unova characters here, I'm not too excited. Uh, the starters are here, but we haven't gotten any of their calm days yet. So they cannot be shiny. It looks like on the nearby, I don't have any of the new mons. Not sure what that's about. Ooh, Elgium is still in a raid. We could possibly do that. Some of the raids are still up. But yeah, soon the Genesex should be hatching and I've got a team prepared. I have two Reshirams, I have two Chandelures, and I have a Moltres and a Blaziken ready to go. Genesect is times four weak to fire because it is bug and seal and those are both weak to fire. So go ahead and get your Reshirams, get your Moltreses, get your uh, Chandelures, and uh, everything else ready with fire spin and overheat and you should be golden ah gosh i already missed the enigma week it's just gone like i've just been seeing nothing but starters pat rats okay get off me rock and roll um not really any of the new ones rock and roll get off i have to check all these things here we go okay oh my god rock and roll you're a nightmare goodness gracious what about this close one here oh my god no shot okay well okay all right uh maybe if you talk enough smack to the gosh dang event, they'll produce a shiny. Are you kidding me right now? We are 15 minutes into this freaking hunt here. I was... <laughs> okay. Dude, unbelievable. I was gonna check the other pat rat. I probably wouldn't have even gotten to this one. Goodness gracious. Plus, what was that? What is that? What was that? What was that plus 17 thing with the CP? What, what, what was that? What was that? Have you guys seen that? I've never seen that before. What is that? What was that? It was like pink and you saw that, right? Am I going crazy? Is that something new? Hold on, let me check all these other guys, just in case. I can't believe, right off the rip, we got a shiny freaking Pat Rat, which completes the Pat Rat family for me. I got Pat Rat earlier this year, uh, walking on the Spectrum in July, not that long ago, less than a month, we got this one, and now we've got the Watchog. Here we go, okay. They're both terrible, but you know what? I don't ever plan on using it, so let's go ahead and evolve this bad boy. I can't believe that. I just got you, Pat Rat, and you are now Shiny Watchog, which looks great. The, the Watchog and the and the Pat Rat family are great shinies. Unfortunately, I don't think they're all that cool as Pokemon, but that actually looks really good. I didn't realize how good that looked. Wow, okay, so I, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, I was talking smack on this event. Uh, there are, okay, there are sea waddles and a Whimsicott on my nearby over here, so I am going to try to get the Whimsicott because I like... I like Cottony. Oh, that was a Cottony. I want Cottony, Whimsicott. But mainly I've been seeing like Snivy's, Oshawott's. There's another Pat Rat. Mm, how could you imagine? Oh man, I can't believe that. That's three shinies today. This hunt's been good. Today's been good. I want Rock and Roller still. 
That one I'm gonna go for. It's almost two o'clock. I think I'll probably end my hunt at two o'clock and head home and stream on Twitch. So if you're not following me, follow me at twitch.tv slash cruciateyt. So this video might be up uh, tomorrow. Sorry, guys. So it works when you're streaming. When you're streaming, it makes it hard to make videos. All right, check out my nearby guys. We got Cottony, Seawaddle, and Moga hanging out by the waterfall. So let's see if we can get all these in one go. Come on, I think this whim's got my despawn. I've been doing a lot of things. Lunatone rates are still coming in. So uh, uh, let's keep going. And there it is. First one on the docket is Cottony. Cottony, I love this Pokemon. Whimsicott also looks amazing. I need to catch this right now. I have seen a shockingly low amount of, well, actually, no, this is my first one. A shockingly low amount of any of the new Pokemon. I don't know how to spin this. Shockingly low amount of the new Pokemon, so I'm, I'm very lucky that these are on the silhouettes, but once I get these, I'm gonna have to be lucky. I have to sift through the Snivy and the Tapigs and Osh wants to get through any of these, uh, but so there you go. Pineapp first one, the Cottony is in the decks. I want to get a Molga next, and then we can get Seawaddle. But look at that, it looks like freaking striking. The green looks awesome without even it being the shiny. This is so awesome. Grass and Fairy, are you any good? How are the IVs? Hey, not too bad. I'm gonna have to test that out in the Go Battle League. Maybe people won't be suspecting a Cottony and a Whimsicott coming in. All right, cool. So first one down, let's go get the Amolga. Ooh, it requires a sunstone. Didn't realize that. And sea waddle. Let's go. See, this is what I'm used to. Look at this. Like, freaking lily pup and to big. Anyways, let's go get that one. I couldn't tell where Amoga was at first because I thought it was a purloin, but there it is right there. Oh, it's so cute. This reminds me of Zoe Two Dots because I believe it is Zoe Two Dots. Besides Togepi, favorite Pokemon. One of her favorite Pokemon. And it just, look at that. It's a cute little sugar glider. Oh, I love it. I, I don't know how to toss the ball like this. Ah, oh, we hit it right there. Ah, uh, I'm so glad you did not despawn a Molga. There we go. I don't know how rare you're going to be, but you are in the decks. Little cute sugar glider. Are you any good? Ooh, electric flying. Oh, sweet. So that gets rid of the weakness of electricity. Mm, not good, but it's so small. It's so adorable. That's awesome. All right, on the sea waddle. And poof, look at that. We're right here at the sea waddle. That was so fast, right? Ah. Oh man, Seawaddle is cute. Dang it. I was so prepared to say Seawaddle was my least favorite of the three that got released, so I was going to say save the worst for last, uh, but it looks pretty cool here. I don't like leaving. Maybe I will, though. Pokemon Go keeps making me like Pokemon that I didn't like before. It's weird. And I just said it was the worst of the three Pokemon that got released, but there is Bufalant as well, but that is around New York. That is a regional for New York and the surrounding areas of New York. I'm not sure exactly where the cutoff is, but uh, that has been released as well. I can't get it, though, and who knows when I'll ever be able to travel, so that could be like five years from now. Anyways, let's see the dex entry for the Sea Waddle. Oh, there you are, another one. You know the dex is going good now. Oh, gosh, see, it's cute. It's cute. Why do you do these things to me? You weren't supposed to be that cute. I never liked you before. No. Ah. All right, I like it. And there we go. We got the Sea Waddle, the Amolga, the Cottony, a couple of Lunatones sprinkled in between with the remaining raids that we have gotten to do. Some rock and rolls, but that's not spawning as common as I would have thought it would. So that's going to be a bit of a grind. However, it is 1.43 p.m., so I believe I'm going to end it here and go ahead home to go stream. That being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It might be a little long one because a lot of stuff happened. I cannot believe how lucky we've gotten during this video. The luck is still in the air. I missed the Enigma week, but let me know if you guys are excited about this Unova week, and let me know how you did during the Enigma week. What are your goals? Is it the Shiny Genesect? Is it the Rock and Roller? Which one are you most excited about for the, the oh, I was going to say Enigma week. Oh, I missed it so much. You know, of a week and with that being said thank you all again for watching if you are new here please do not forget to hit that subscribe button because we are so close to 20k subs and that will just be a hoot and a holler gosh dang dollar yo what's up Mal Head and Rabbit good to see you you come at just the right time because guess what we are getting the shiny genesis at 32 happy birthday to me 3 2 1 Shimada! yeah let's go we called it baby last one of the night and we got it at 32! Booyah! That ain't no sense. I love you all very much. Stay safe. Good luck on your hunts. And I will see you guys in the next one. See you later.